absolutely beautiful up here. <laughs> Look at this. Unbelievable. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I drove about an hour to get to this yard sale and it was so worth it. I cannot believe what I found here. Hi, I'm Tanya and you can meet me right back here after the video to see what I bought. If this tufted Victorian sofa alone does not make this the best garage sale I've ever been to, I don't know what could be better. I cannot even imagine. If you love awesome garage sales too, hit subscribe and join our happy little YouTube family. Oh, and wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me or do I see a $50 sticker on that sofa on an antique tufted Victorian sofa? Oh, and here's another one for $50. Are you kidding me are you kidding me i'm really lucky there's so many cushioned places to choose from because i'm about to pass out i'm pinching myself right now to make sure i'm not already asleep where am i again i am in forest hill california about an hour outside of sacramento that was a chandelier we saw just a moment ago and i'm starting to get the feeling that the best indicator of how good a yard sale or garage sale is going to be is whether or not there is a chandelier present in fact i swear by this now and tell me if it's not true if you walk up to a yard sale yard sale or a garage sale and you see a chandelier tell me if it's not the equivalent of a secondhand wonderland keep your eye out for me so we can test this theory could this set be any cuter? The entire set has carved horse heads on it. So cute. It's really giving me big sky country ranch vibes. A little background on this yard sale. The family moved from Texas and they are so sweet, let me tell you first of all. But they've had all of this stuff in storage ever since. So this is the storage clear out. It is fan fantastic and he said that there is more coming out on a regular basis there will be more coming out they have lots to clear out and did anyone notice i am the only one here thus far i'm the only person here so if you ever hear about a yard sale that sounds like it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere i highly suggest you go i mean look at this what is happening here if this was in town it'd be completely wiped out already he'd be sold out for sure I've been asked how I find the yard sales and garage sales that I find, and here's tip number one, top of the list, be willing to drive. I've been thinking about doing a video to share how I find yard sales and garage sales, so if you're interested in that, can you let me know in the comments below? It's so easy and it really does save a bunch of time. Oh, these gold and glittering MCM rams, locking horns, too perfect. The glassware is gorgeous but wait until you see this pottery oh my word and there's still a whole garage to go through we are just getting started and let me tell you there is so much more to look at and it just keeps getting better and better and better you will not believe what's in the garage oh well hello my gorgeous italian beauty i did not pay the price on this sticker but can we just talk about this capodamonte for a minute it's not super old you can tell by the marking but it is still porcelain drenched in gold and absolutely stunning it is vintage and i was still absolutely shook to find this at a yard sale oh and before i forget we will be going back over to the chairs to take a look at all of those because there are some absolute gorgeous pieces over there we'll go back after we check out the garage
they're cute. They look real. I mean, they look real, huh? They really look real. What an artist. Huh. These two chairs are so gorgeous. They're like royalty. They look like they belong in Buckingham Palace. There's literally nothing in this entire row right here that I didn't want. I wanted to take it all home. In New York, they had it in a cabin in New York. In a cabin, not in the city, it's someplace in the... Wow. In the countryside. The details are amazing on it. Oh, thank you. It's just incredible. And this is the original upholstery, right? This is the original. Oh, original, yeah. Uh-huh. Just beautiful, look at that. This settee here was super pricey or I would have taken this set home. Wait till you see the little cherub head on it. I love how scrolly it is. I love this so, so much. When I imagine this cleaned up and reupholstered, I hear wedding bells. I honestly, I wanna marry it, I really do. Well, I finally find my lion's head chair that I've been after for so long. And wouldn't you know it, it's a kid's chair. I couldn't even fit one butt cheek on here.
the railroad? Yeah, that was with the... Look at that chain. Amazing. Everybody should wear pocket watches again. Okay, so we're heading into the garage now and I can honestly say we're about to see some of the most unique pieces I have ever, ever seen at a yard sale before, at least in California. That lamp was so gorgeous. I really wish I could have seen it lit up. And this Tiffany style, probably a reproduction, still beautiful. See these bronze statues? Just the beginning. Just wait. Okay, here we go. Can you tell that this bronze statue is as tall as the table? That's how big it is. Amazing. Never seen anything like this at a yard sale. And then I saw this jacket at first, but something was holding it up. It was this statue as tall as a person. Amazing. I forgot to ask if you have the scales somewhere or if they're missing. This mirror made my heart skip a beat. I think he said that wasn't the price and he was going to get back to me on one and then I forgot to ask about it. And this is just one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life, period. It's a John Lennon porcelain whiskey decanter with a music box underneath. It was actually missing the music box, otherwise I guarantee you I would have I would have left with that for sure. In fact, I probably would have been buried with it because you couldn't pry it from my cold dead hands. It's the movie posters for me. Amazing, right? promised we are back at the plethora of gorgeous chairs we saw at the beginning. I'm going to play some really dramatic cocktail hour music so that we can all imagine sitting in them, sipping martinis, and smoking a cigar. Darling.
I had so much fun. I can't even believe how much fun I had at that at that yard sale. It was unbelievable. It really, it blew my hair back. It was incredible. I can't wait to show you what I brought home with me. Mostly big stuff. So I'm gonna start with the littles and then we will get to the big ones because there were too many big things that I wanted to leave behind. First, I brought this vase home. I mean, come on. How could I not? Look at this. It's such a beauty. I don't know if you're into Italian, but oh my goodness. Absolute stunner. I love anything from Italy, really vintage or antique or new. Honestly, anything pretty much from Italy. There we go, get in focus, here we go. I couldn't really show you while we were there, if I can get enough light on it, there we go. How's the lighting? I hope the lighting's not incredibly terrible. If I lean in, it looks like it's better, but I can't tell if it stays that way when I lean back because there's a glare on my camera. So hopefully there's plenty, who cares about seeing me, but hopefully there's plenty of light to see what I bought. I bought this, had to do it. I mean, they're just so cute, these little pheasants. How can I resist this? Adorable. Originally, I thought these were going in my living room, but the more I look at them, I think they might be going in my kitchen. And then not only did I buy that one, but I did have to get the little twinsie that goes with it. And I just love the colors in it. Oh my goodness. And I love the frames. Aren't they wonderful? Aw. These are both original works of art. They're both signed by the same person. I think it says F. Holt. Not to be confused with the abstract artist Frank Holt. I'm sure the name is just a coincidence. I really didn't pick up as much as I wanted to, but I was so focused on moving all this furniture. So I ended up skipping out on a lot of things that I really would have liked and they were really good prices. I was just exhausted by the whole scenario of large furniture. And that's it for the little stuff this time, but the gentleman who had the yard sale is pulling more stuff out of his storage and more stuff out of his garage. So it will be somewhat ongoing throughout the summer. And I definitely will be back the minute that he has another yard sale. I am there because he's going to have a lot of new stuff that he's constantly pulling out. So I'm going back and let me show you the rest of what I got because <sighs> couldn't help myself. What was I going to do? Do you remember the yard sale last season? If you've been watching, I'm sure you remember. I went without a truck, totally unprepared. It was the beginning of, you know, this season. So I just didn't have anyone to call to help me to move stuff. And I missed out on so much and I was not about to let that happen again this time. Here's the first sofa. I love this one, I think the most. I'm pretty sure I love this one the most. It was the heaviest, it was the hardest one to get in here. I am in love with it. It needs to be recovered, obviously. So I did not bother to clean it up for this video because it's just gonna be completely and totally reupholstered and it needs to be cleaned up severely, but for $50, I mean, are you kidding me? Look at that. The sun's a little bit in the way, but oh my goodness. And all of this is getting torn out and I would love to go with velvet if I can find it. Here's the other one I got for $50. I am gonna have to recover it. It's gonna break my heart though, because I really do love the bees. The bees are so cute. See the little bees? They're adorable. $50, cannot beat that with a stick. Oh my goodness. My rug really does not go with any of these, but hey. As always, it needs some love. I don't mind putting a little love into something that I love. Cute. Super cute. Here's another one that I bought for $50. This might end up replacing the table that I've got back there in my entryway, $50. Everything needs work though. I have to glue all of that in. All of that has to get glued in, but that's okay. 
it will be worth it. Do I love the pink? Yes. Is it going to go in my house? Probably not. So I think it's probably the only one it might have some wear and tear that could be cleared up, but I doubt I'm going to. I think I'm probably going to recover it in all honesty. I love it. They're all on wheels though. Every one of them on wheels. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oopsie, I filmed this in the wrong direction, but I did pick up this little wicker rocking chair. It's so darn cute. It's going out on my back porch unless I use it in my son's room. I got this little gorgeous set to you for my bedroom. It needs to be recovered also. They pretty much all do, but, uh, and this one had some pretty decent damage to it, but I knew I wanted something I was gonna recover for my room anyway. So it's still, it's stunning. I can't wait to get it recovered. Now I'm on the hunt for the perfect large tapestry in my bedroom colors so that I can reupholster this. It's a pretty tall order, but I already have my heart set on it. Well, that is it for my haul this time, but I have already been to a lot more yard sales and I recorded them because when I go, you know, I'm going to take you with me, right? I go, you go. We go together. So I do have those in the editing process and there'll be another one out next week and hopefully every week, fingers crossed, I'll get one edited for every single week throughout the summer and I have projects coming up and so many more things to share with you and I just cannot wait to see you again. Oh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of those fantastic and I mean they are fantastic yard sales so far I mean knock on wood but so far amazing yard sales for 2021 starting off with a bang so we'll go together thank you for coming with me and until next time happy thrifting